In my previous video, an Arduino library was created for the HD16K33 14 segment display. In this video, a library is written for a 4 digit 7 segment display driven by two 74595 shift registers. The 4 digit 7 segment display is controlled by two 74HC595 shift registers. The first shift register controls the segments, while the second shift register is used to select the digit. To display a character on one of the digits of the module, we need to send two bytes. The first byte will go through the first shift register in order to sketch the character on the digit, while the second byte will go through the second shift register in order to select one of the four digits. A second byte value of 8 will give us will select the first digit a value of 4 will select the second digit a value of 2 will select the third digit and a value of 1 will select the fourth digit the module is interfaced with the arduino through the input lines shown here so we have the dio line is connected to a digital pin of the arduino the serial clock is connected to another digital pin and the register clock or the latch is connected to a third digital pin of the Arduino. This diagram shows the interfacing of the module with the Nano. So we have the data I.O. line is connected to digital pin D2. The register clock or the latch is connected to pin D3 and the serial clock connected to pin D4. Before we go into the details on creating a library for this display, we need to see how we can program it and send uh, two bytes of data in order to display a character on a specific digit. So within the loop function, we call this function send byte to send the first byte, which represents the character to be displayed, and then we send the second byte which determines which digit we want to display at. As mentioned earlier, a value of 8 will display the character on the first digit, a value of 4 on the second digit, a value of uh, 2 on the third digit, and a value of 1 on the fourth digit. Once we send these two bytes, then we can send the latch pulse in order for the character to appear on that uh, digit. Inside function send byte, we receive the byte to be sent, and then using this for loop to cover the eight bits of the byte, we check the most significant bit of the byte. If it is one, then we send a logic one through the DIO line, otherwise we send a logic zero. And then we shift the byte to the left by one so that we have access to the next most significant bit. And then we send the clock pulse so that the byte is available at the uh, shift registers of the module. And the process continues until all of the bits or the byte has been sent to the module. And now we run the sketch and observe the output. The next step is to create a library for the module and the library folder structure is shown here within the Arduino libraries folder we create our library folder register 74595 display within this folder we have the examples folder which has the demo folder containing the demo sketch and also we have within the library folder the source file the header file and the keywords file the source file and the header file names must match the name of the library folder. This library has five functions, namely number function, number with decimal point, character, clear, and text. Function number has two arguments. The first argument is the digit number. This is one, two, three, four. Second argument is the number to be displayed between 0 and 9. Function number with decimal point 
has two arguments the first argument is the digit number and the second argument is the number to be displayed with the decimal point on function character again has two arguments first argument is the digit number and the second argument is the character to be displayed function clear will clear the four digit display and finally function text will display the four character text between double quotation on the display I'll be using Visual Studio Code to create the header file the source file and the keywords file we begin with the header file inside the header file we have defined one class named register 74595 display inside the header file we have a public section and a private section inside the public section we have defined a constructor with three arguments which are the input lines for the module and we have five methods clear number number with decimal point character and text the private section has the declaration of three integers uh, for the input lines of the module the DIO the register clock and the serial clock next we have the source file after we include the Arduino library and the header file we have just created we define our constructor the constructor has three arguments three integers and within the body of the constructor we have the pin mode function to indicate that the three uh, IO pins of the Arduino are output pins inside the C++ sketch we declare the object display to the constructor and the arguments of the objects are the digital pins of the Arduino to which the DIO the register clock and the serial clock are connected next we look at the definition of the five methods declared inside the header file method clear is used to clear the four digit screen by using a loop that will loop four times to send the bytes needed to clear the screen method number will receive two parameters the digit value which is between 1 and 4 and the byte value to be displayed on that digit and using the switch statement based on the digit value is if 1 is input then we will display the byte on the first digit 2 is input then the second digit and so on then we call function convert number where the input number between 0 and 9 is converted to a 7-segment byte that can be displayed on that digit and then we send the byte and then we send the digit value and then we send the latch pulse method number decimal point is similar to the previous method the only difference is that we are calling this function convert number decimal point so that the number is converted to a seven segment byte with the decimal point turned on method character will receive a character value and display it on the input digit and then function convert character is called in order to find the equivalent seven segment value that can be displayed on that digit method text receives a string value and this function converts the value into character array and using this for loop up to four characters will be displayed on the screen now we look at the functions inside the source file we have function send byte which will send the byte to be displayed on the digit function convert number will receive a number between 0 and 9 and display the equivalent seven segment value function convert number with decimal point is similar to the previous function with the decimal point on function convert character will receive a character value and display the alphabets that can be drawn on the seven segment display file keywords color codes the data types and methods in the library 
Keyword 1 color codes the constructor. Keyword 2 color codes the methods. Now we look at the examples provided within the library. We begin with a demo sketch which displays the count from 0 to 99. We include our created library and then we create our object which will receive three values, three integer values to indicate the pin numbers for the data, register clock and the serial clock. Inside the setup function we clear the display by executing this function. Within the loop function we display text play on the screen for a second or two and then we clear the display and then we display text D equals 3.9 for a second or two and then we clear the display and then using the nested loop we display the count from 0 to 99 and then we clear the display and the process is repeated. In the second example we display temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor. We include our library and then we include the DHT sensor library. We create our object and here we create another object for the DHT sensor. Within the setup function we initialize the DHT and then we clear the display and then we display on the screen the text DHT and then we clear the display. Inside the loop function we call this function to display temperature in Celsius. Inside function display temperature we get the temperature from the sensor. We extract the most significant digit of the integer part and then extract the least significant digit of the integer part and then we extract the fractional value of the temperature. And then we display these values on the screen with the character C at the end. Back inside the loop function and every 15 seconds this if statement becomes true and we call function display humidity. Inside function display humidity we get the humidity value from the sensor and then we extract the most significant digit and the least significant digit and display it on the four digit display. In this third example, we are showing characters on two displays. So here we are declaring two objects, display 1, where the input lines are connected to pins 2, 3, and 4 of the Arduino, and the second object is display 2, and connected to lines 5, 6, and 7. Inside the setup function, we clear both displays, and within the loop function, we display on the first display the text play and on the second display we display the count from 0 to 99. This is version 1 of the library. There is room for modification by adding more functions. Thank you for watching.